Alright, so I've never actually been inside a Walmart in my entire life because there's not one of them in Queens, New York where I live. So I never understood why people wanted me to make a video about Walmart until I looked it up and holy shit. Some of the weirdest people in the world shop at this place. Let's have a look. First we got this lady who's just printing out pictures of her titties in the middle of Walmart. The best part about this picture is like the sign next to her that has like suggestions of what you could print. Baby pictures, wedding pictures. She's like, nope. Tits! Print them out! I want several copies of these tits in my hand in 60 minutes or less or someone's getting fired. Oh god, I feel bad for this kid. It's probably his first day and already he has to deal with a lubed up bald guy sitting in a shopping cart. There is no amount of training that could prepare you for that situation. What the fuck do you say? Excuse me sir, do you mind not being all lubed up uh, for no reason? This is Walmart. Um, can you also get out of the shopping cart and stop smoking? and put some shoes on. This guy's breaking like 40 fucking rules, like, dude, get him out of there. Okay, someone explain this one. It looks like a dinosaur shit down aisle six. There's no way that's human shit. It's gotta, it's gotta be a horse shit or something. It wouldn't surprise me at all if a guy rode into Walmart on the back of a horse and the horse was just shitting as he was shopping. No one's cleaning it, no one's like bothered. They're just like, oh yeah, just, Shut that register down, and we'll just walk around it all day. Fuck it. Well, at least now we know where this shit came from. Good God. Lady, there is no way that you don't know that there is two handfuls of human shit in those pants. It's not even like a small amount, where it's kind of like, oh, maybe she like moved suddenly and like it slipped out. No, this looks like it was pushed out. Like she flexed her whole body and an explosion of shit came out into her pants. And she was like, I feel fine, let's go shopping. It's so much shit, it looks like she slid into second base and just beat the tag and then stood up and was like, I gotta go to Walmart real quick, I gotta buy some shit. Well isn't this nice and safe? This little kid's got a plastic bag over his entire head and his stupid mother's not phased at all because she's distracted by the fact that the double stuffs are on sale for $2.98 today. Lady, I know it's a steal. It's a great price! $2.98? I would have bought three packs myself. But come on! Your child is about to die, and if he dies, then you go to jail. Which means that you can't enjoy the cookies that you're about to save a bunch of money on. So don't be stupid, okay? Alright, there's only three possible things that this could be. Number one, it's a tit. One of the biggest and saggiest tits in the Northern Hemisphere. Two, she's discreetly trying to steal a basketball from Walmart by stuffing it into her shirt. Or three, she's currently going through the first ever sideways pregnancy. Like the baby's just growing on her fucking hip. I refuse to believe that that's a tit, because if it is a tit, then I'm pretty sure like on a good day, she could tuck it into her pants. And no way. Please tell me this is a joke. I blurred it to be safe, but for those of you who can't even process it enough to figure out what the fuck's going on in this picture, let me tell you, there is a man, butt naked, bent over in front of a hand dryer on a bathroom wall, drying his ass. I'm gonna give you time to let that settle in. Time's up. What the fuck? There is less than zero reasons as to why you are naked in a Walmart bathroom. There is also no reason why your ass should be wet to the point where you feel the need to strip naked and bend over in front of a hand dryer to fucking dry it. It's a hand dryer, not an asshole dryer. Then we got this guy walking around like he's Stanley Yelnats from that movie Holes, walking around with lizards all over him. What the hell's going on? You couldn't leave the lizards at home for fucking eight seconds? And what the hell is this? Those have to be this guy's favorite pair of pants ever. Cause he's fucking strapping them in tight. Those pants aren't going anywhere. You got two belts. Suspenders? Are you shitting me? This guy looks like he's about to go skydiving. I'd be willing to bet that he pisses himself nine times out of ten. Because it's, to get all that off, it probably takes forever. I am so glad that there's no Walmarts in my neighborhood. I don't think I ever want to go in one. What the hell's going on at this place? Are there no rules? We are going back to Walmart. Some of the things you're about to see are unbelievable. Like this woman. Hello, Grandma! Okay, serious question. Why does her hair look that comfortable? Is that Tempur-Pedic? It looks like it's made out of the inside of Ugg slippers. I'm also digging the cheetah poncho, but wait a minute. Is that a pair of fucking ice skates? Take it easy, Michelle Kwan. 
This is Walmart, not the Olympics. Bite me, beat me, whip me, fuck me. I appreciate the offer, but no thanks, I'm good and scared, gotta go. Oh, this is relationship goals. It really is, think about it. Have you ever been so in love that you don't care if other people see you get elbow deep in your girl's shorts? Me neither, but maybe one day. I like how they're looking at jewelry as they're doing this. I bet he's saying some shit like, you could have whatever you like, but you also gonna get about 14 inches of my arm inside your ass. Sir, what are you wearing? This guy's wearing a tight sweater dress thing like he's a pregnant teen mom. From the neck up, he looks like Ebenezer Scrooge. He's actually really curvy, but like just opposite way. Like if his whole body was turned around, then you'd be like, he got ass, but it's his stomach. Even the redneck dude in the background's looking at him like, dude, I drink deer piss and this is weird to me. Holy haircut. How do you even get hair like, what do you say? You walk in like, hey, oh, I just want like the top to be kind of fucked up. I actually, I kind of want the whole thing to be fucked up, but I want the back to look like there's an octopus connected to my skull. Oh, what the fuck is this? This man brought his Pig food shopping? Shouldn't a pig be inside a barn, or a pen, or a farm, or w anything besides a Walmart? The best part is, his shirt says, you mad, bro? Like, yes, I'm mad, I'm fucking furious. And why is your pig the same color as a New York City sidewalk? What happened there? This is extra fucked up, because what if they're walking by the fucking bacon section? Then the pig's gotta see all his cousins all fucking neatly packaged and sliced up. Leave the pig at home! Oh, we got more pets! What the hell did they do to those dogs? They look like fucking go-go dancers. Who would even do that to a dog? Oh, I know! Fucking Furry Freddy over here! This man has a three foot long tail hanging from his ass. He also has a backpack made out of fucking, uh, what is that, My Little Pony? And hold the fuck up, is that a seatbelt? Oh god, we got a seatbelt. Oh god. Oh fuck. Your neck isn't going anywhere, buddy. Relax. And your tail probably isn't going anywhere either. I bet he wears that in the shower, I bet. Ma'am, get your wallet out of your asshole. Come on, you were so close. There's pockets right there. If you were to move your wallet three inches over, it would have been in a pocket and no one would have said anything, no one would have took a picture because wallets belong in pockets and not in your smelly ass crack. Not to mention you're influencing your kid now. He's probably got his allowance shoved up his ass and a bunch of spare change jammed into his tidy whities You're basically asking for an infection at that point, like money is dirty. More dogs! Oh, great! This dog looks like it was white, and its owner used it as a napkin after he ate Flaming Hot Cheetos. Okay, now wait a goddamn minute! Are those eyebrows? Or is there like a curse word written on her head and it's being censored? What's going on? A woman was arrested at a Walmart on Tuesday after eating sushi, most of a rotisserie chicken, and cinnamon rolls while drinking wine and driving a motorized shopping cart around the store. AKA, arrested for living the fucking dream. Is that actually a crime? Jeez. Sorry for partying. All right, I'm done. What the hell's going on at this place? I don't even know what else to say, so I'm leaving. Like, leaving my house. I'm gonna go take a fucking walk. You have got to be shitting me. Sir, can you please explain why you have a giant parrot on your shoulders while picking out a magazine? Also, while you're at it, can you explain how you're unaware that this giant parrot on your shoulders took an alcoholic stepdad-style shit on your back without you knowing? And don't give me that, oh, if a bird poops on you, it's good luck. No, it's not. Who made that up? What if I shit on myself? Am I gonna hit Lotto? If a bird shits on you, it's not good luck. You just got shit on. That's bad luck, if anything. What is that? What is it? I don't even know what that is. Whatever it is, it looks like a beluga whale's face. I'm not even sure if this is the front or the back of a person, but I think the mystery of not knowing is a little exciting. It's a guessing game. It's kind of like the dress. You remember the dress? Like, oh, is it white and gold or black and blue? Like, is that an ass or like a saggy vag or just like an unhappy dick area? Who knows? Your guess is as good as mine. Ho ho ho! Look what we have here. A double jean queen. Come on, buddy. You know damn well you don't double denim and you definitely don't double jean. Are you out of your mind? The only time it's even remotely okay to wear two pairs of jeans is if you're going paintballing and you have sensitive legs. Then go nuts! Paintballs hurt! You don't want the welts on your legs? Fuck it, wear two pairs of jeans. But you're in Walmart! There's no reason for wearing two pairs of jeans. And a pair of shorts! This guy's just wearing his whole fucking war- How many shirts does he have on? Well, this guy's definitely voting for Donald Trump. And so are these guys! Who seem to be tailgating a trip to Walmart like it's a fucking football game. I love the progression in this picture. It's like shirt, 
shirt open, and then no fucking shirt. It looks like the evolution chart for white trash, and I know you may be thinking, what's the step after that? And it's this woman! Holy reindeer shit! I had to blur her ass because she is wearing a thong, and she also has a license plate jammed into the back of her thong because apparently this woman thinks she's a fucking car. The weird part is, she got pulled over. Maybe she was sprinted on the highway and got pulled over for speeding, who knows? What possesses you to do such, like, it's weird enough that you're basically naked on the side of the highway, but when you add a license plate into the equation, this is just a whole new level of what in, what the fuck? Good lord, ma'am. Either this woman has the biggest and most weird shaped head ever, or a gigantic spider is making a house made out of webs on her skull and is living in it. And what the hell are you doing, lady? Pretty sure those things are for babies and not your eight-year-old lazy asshole kid. You're gonna throw your fucking back out carrying him around. Now here's a man I'd like to have a conversation with. There's just a lot going on here. We got old man up top, we got Great Gatsby in the middle, and then schoolgirl downstairs. What the fuck's going on, Junior? Tell you the truth, when I keep looking at this picture, I start to think maybe that's just like a little girl holding up an old legless man in his jacket. Or maybe this guy just wants to be prepared for anything. Like he could be prepared for a wedding or his freshman year of high school, you know? Well that's all for this week's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, brush your teeth, wash your asshole, and use baby powder so you don't chafe. Guess what? We're headed back to Walmart, but let's start off slow this time. Oh, uh, what? All right, clearly this woman didn't sit in a giant peanut butter and jelly sandwich. If I had to guess what happened to her, I'd say that she shit herself as she was being stabbed in the left knee. And I don't want to judge her too much because that's a pretty bad day. But listen, lady, I've shit myself. I have. I've done it. I know it's not fun. But I also know the protocol. If you shit yourself, you head straight to the bathroom to clean up the damaged area. So my question to you is why the fuck are you still shopping at Walmart? I mean, you got an open wound on your knee, you're losing blood by the minute, and your ass is leaking beige-colored shit, and you're checking out the gift cards? Who shits themselves and is losing blood out of their leg and is just like, can, just, real quick, can I just run in? I just need to get patio furniture, and then we'll, I just, one second, please. What the fuck is Honest Abe doing here? Fucking Abraham Lincoln in the flesh. He wasn't assassinated, he had a sinus infection. He left the show early to go to Walmart to get some shit to clear it up. All jokes aside, here's my thing, okay? If you're wearing a top hat, you're either a magician and you're about to pull a rabbit out of it, or you're Amish. And this guy does not look like a fucking magician to me, so I'm gonna assume that he's Amish because I'm uneducated and I refuse to think that I'm wrong. So if this guy is Amish, isn't he like breaking the rules here? Aren't you like not allowed to shop for cough medicine? You have to like make your own out of like crushed up leaves and rainwater? I don't really know what the fuck I'm talking about. Clearly I fell asleep a lot in school. Okay, buddy. I don't, maybe I just don't understand fashion, but I can't even wrap my mind around this outfit. First off, this guy's hair or hat. I don't know what the fuck that thing is. It looks like the inside of a seat cushion or it kind of looks like a layer of a cake before you put the icing on it. Either way, it looks bad. And his shirt looks like it's made out of like cake icing or something, and then the bottom is brown, and then it goes to light brown, so it kind of looks like burned and like crispy, like a, like a s'more. He looks like a s'more. He, like, this guy's outfit is delicious. And he's just sitting at this table just thinking. He's just sitting there thinking, and I don't really know what he's thinking, but if I had to guess, it would be, why the fuck did I wear 50 bracelets on each arm? Three would have been fine, but I don't know why I cleared out the whole drawer and decided to wear every single one. It's cutting off the circulation. I can't feel my hands. Clean up on aisle four. A human took a shit on the floor again. I just want to know why it's so spaced out. There's like a shit here, a shit here, a shit. It's like a guy walked in there ass naked and was shitting as he was walking. Just, t just walking, taking shits. That or it's from an animal. And I don't know what kind of animal can take a shit like... Maybe a bear. A bear needed to go shopping and then took a shit in the produce section. The main issue here is that an employee saw this and was like, oh, I got it. I know how to fix the situation. And he just put caution wet floor signs around the shit. He didn't clean it up. He just was like, yeah, no, don't walk. This is, you don't want to walk here. You'll never get employee of the month with that kind of lazy attitude. Well, here's something you should never do. The fuck are you doing, Betty Lou? What part of your brain sees your handicapped mother in a motorized scooter and think, huh? Party time, and try to get on her shoulders like some girl at EDC. And this chick has a knee brace on too. 
No wonder why those families all fucked up. They sustained all these injuries from these dumb ideas they've had. Oh, uh, you just couldn't wait, could you? This lady was in the middle of getting her hair dyed and thought, I need to go to Walmart now. And she just left. By the way, I've never gotten my hair dyed, but I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to look like a fucking kindergarten finger paint project on your back. What the fuck happened? It looks like a card peeled out on her spine. I hope she's waiting online for a refund. Oh my, how does this happen? This shit always happens in movies, but how? Who is wiping their ass with the entire roll of toilet paper? Have I been wiping wrong this whole time? I take like a handful and then I go to work. I don't fucking take the thing off the rack jam it in my ass and try to fucking do it with the whole roll. I guess I've been doing it wrong this whole time. Am I crazy? I don't know why I'm looking around like there's people to get a second opinion from. It's just me down here. Holy eyebrows. Listen, I understand that people want to like make themselves look a little cooler. They want to do something different. They want to bend this. They want to do that, whatever. But those aren't eyebrows. That looks like the shit that Wonder Woman wears on her forehead. Oh my God, I am done. I am done with this. If they keep walking into Walmart, then I guess these videos are going to keep coming out. Excuse me, ma'am? What happened to your back? Oh, is that roadkill? I could be wrong here, but I think an entire family of raccoons was crushed by an 18-wheeler, shoveled off the ground, and then placed on this woman's back. I don't know what else it could be, honestly, because I definitely see blood and bird shit, and judging by this woman's skunk-inspired haircut, I don't think I'm that far off. Santa's got the titties out today! If you thought I was excited for Christmas before, now I'm fucking definitely excited. Christmas and titties, how can it get better than that? Now this is relationship goals. Why would you even bother getting a shopping cart when you have an old crippled wife just pile all these products on? That's why you got married, isn't it? That's when you know you found the one, when she lets you do that. Not that she has a fucking choice anyway, she's in a wheelchair. Like you could ask her and be nice and be like, hey, do you mind if I pile all this stuff on you? And if she goes, no, get a shopping cart. You go, okay, that's great. And then you put the brake on, you lock the wheels, and you leave her in the freezer aisle. I still can't tell if she's like down to help him or if he's just like forcing it. Like, just fucking hold the tissues, Barbara. Okay, so this is kind of alarming. Why don't we all play one of my favorite games called, is it sleeping? Or is it dead? Today's contestant is this child which appears to be sleeping on its father's shoulders, but I'm on part five of this series, so I know that it's not that crazy for someone to be walking around Walmart with just a dead kid on their shoulders. But let's just say the kid's alive. Look at the way that it's sleeping. Look at the position, okay? This child is one nightmare away from waking up scared, ha, huh, and then falling off of his dad's shoulders and landing on the floor, cracking its head open, blood down the eye. Because the dad's not holding on, he's just kind of wearing it like a scarf down the aisle. He's not holding on to the kid's hands. He's just like, yeah, fuck it. Hold on to your kids, evil cunt. Well, isn't that some lovely body art right there? Very meaningful. I don't really know what possesses a person to get this tattoo, but I would have preferred that it said dumb cunt because I feel like that would have been more like suitable. And call me crazy here, but I don't think anyone who refers to themselves as an evil cunt should have children. And as you can tell by the photo, there's a child's leg. So maybe someone should do something about this. Unless of course, She's a retired evil cunt. She used to be evil back in the day. That's when she got the tattoos. And now she's a ni she's retired. She's nice now. She's a nice cunt. What the hell are you doing, buddy? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that this guy is sitting in the middle of a Walmart and nonchalantly jerking off Ronald McDonald's. <laughs> Clearly this guy loves McDonald's. But listen, buddy, I love McGriddles, okay? We all love McGriddles. But I'm not gonna blow the hamburger for one. I love how the two of them are positioned also. You see Ronald McDonald's, he's just got his arms out. He's like, yeah, fuck it, do it. Getting jerked off in public, who cares? And the guy's like looking, trying to see if anyone's looking. They look like teenagers in a movie theater. Trump, 2016. Not surprised to see that in a Walmart parking lot. Okay, maybe relax with the clips. This woman has close to a thousand clips in her hair and I can't figure out why. It's like she's trying to hold each strand of hair like to her head. Lady, you'll be fine. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. They're not gonna run away, okay? All you need is one clip. One clip will suffice. Two if you're feeling sexy, but two max. Don't know what the hell that is. This brings us to our next game. We're having a lot of fun today, okay? We're playing lots of games. We already played Is It Sleeping or Is It Dead? Now we're gonna play Guess That Sting. And I know you didn't study, so thank God it's multiple choice. We got A. Is it ass sweat? Maybe. B. P. Who knows? Or C, did she just maybe sit in some water or something? And honestly, I'm gonna go with D. I think it's a combination of, I think it's pee, sweat, and water that she sat in yesterday. I don't think these are pants that she put on today. 
I think these are a couple days old. Anyway, that's all for this week's video. Just kidding. You think we we're gonna get out of this without someone shitting themselves? I don't know what it is, but every time I do one of these videos, someone shits themselves in Walmart. And here's the thing, there's tons of these pictures. People are shitting themselves all the time. I only put one in to be nice. But I'm noticing a pattern now. People are shitting themselves in this store all the time, which leads me to believe that it's not the people, it's Walmart. So I don't know what kind of fucking toxins they're pumping into this building, but it's making everyone shit themselves. Okay, that is actually all for this week's episode. You know, I guess there's just something about Walmart that makes people just go insane because there's really no other excuse for the things you're about to see. I'm here to fuck your bitch. <laughs> okay, all right. Woody's ninth anal moon party survivor, 1993. Anal moon party? What the fuck is an anal moon party? I don't know what that is, but it sounds like an orgy where everyone dresses up as an astronaut and you're only allowed to do anal. That's it, nothing else. Strictly backdoor trouble. By the way, judging by this guy's shirt, he's no stranger to the anal moon party, okay? He's a seasoned vet. He's not a rookie. And I don't know when this picture was taken, but he probably has a whole dresser full with anal moon party survivor t-shirts. Unless he didn't survive, of course. Which, that's another thing that I don't, I don't fucking understand that. How crazy is this anal party? Anal moon party, I'm sorry. Don't forget the moon. How crazy is the anal moon party that if you make it out alive, they're like, wow, here you go, take a t-shirt. Are people dying at these fucking moon, uh, this, what are they called? Do people die at these fucking parties? Is the anal moon party killing people every year, like cigarettes or some shit? I just have a ton of questions and I don't think I'm gonna get answers to any of them, so I'm gonna shut up. What, isn't this shit illegal? How the fuck did these guys set up a makeshift cockfighting ring in the middle of a Walmart without anyone saying, hey, um, Please don't do that. Look at this shit. They made a ring out of like Disney posters or something. And they have hay. Where did they get the hay? The Walmart sells hay also? And the cocks. Where did, where did they get the cocks? Where did they get the... Walmart sells those too? Gee, this place has everything. This is the only store in the world where you could walk in, buy groceries, like lawn furniture, and then watch a cock fight and meet a guy who's been to a futuristic anal party. Like, this is incre- Like, you shouldn't have to pay admission to get into the store. And what do we have here? Jesus, this guy looks like Jonah Hill, a hippie, and Captain Jack Sparrow fucked at an anal moon party. His hair says Pocahontas, his sweater says Thanksgiving, and his dress says, I love to meditate. What the fuck's going on? There's just so many elements to this outfit. Like, I feel like this is the most interesting man in the world. What happens in the barn stays in the barn. What happens in the barn? Days in the barn. <laughs> I couldn't agree more! I mean, how do you think her daughter got there? I'm pretty sure a barn was somewhere in that equation. And I don't know if I have to say this, but for the most part, there's animals in a barn. So, you know, that's all I'll say, but just, is she... I don't know. Can someone explain this to me? You know when you're in the middle of teaching dolphins how to do flips and shit, and you remember, oh, <laughs> Walmart has underwear, 12 packs for $4, great sale, gotta get there. And you just can't wait to change, you just gotta go. Well, here you are, here it is. Why are you in full scuba gear in the middle of a Walmart? Five, four, three, two, one. Boner! <laughs> what? What is that shirt? <laughs> Brain cells are evil. They must be destroyed. And this is the shirt of a man who's about to buy a gun. Hey Walmart, how about not selling a gun to a guy who's wearing that shirt? Maybe. You don't need to do a background check. Just look at the back of his shirt and go, oh, okay. no, absolutely not. That shirt is for like a freshman in college who's drinking for the first time in his life. It's not for this grown gun-wielding man who's probably got a couple hate crimes under his belt. Okay? Get it together. Oh my god, it happened! It's real! Are you kidding me? I just talked about this. I don't know if you guys have seen, I did a video two weeks ago called Idiots of the Internet Part Fucking Whatever, and I talked about this. Who is shitting like the guy on the right? Who is standing in front of the bowl, just bent over, and then firing shit 
in the direction of the toilet. Apparently more people than I thought. You know, it's one thing to miss a little, but whoever did this missed everything. You didn't, not one speck of shit in the toilet. You missed it all. That's incredible. Oh my god, who has to clean this? This is way out of the janitor's job description. Way out of it. This, it, they should treat this as a crime. They should have the FBI come in, take some samples, run DNA tests, find out who did it, have them come back, clean it, and then go to fuck to jail. How do you miss? Oh, I can't, I'm not gonna get over that. Of course we're back with a Walmart video. Walmart never fails. St. Augustine woman stole Magic Mike DVD and dry salami from Walmart. Well, 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 what the hell were you doing with that salami? Now I'm not saying you're doing this, but I'm just letting you know. Everyone is assuming that during the dance scenes, you're taking the salami and just jamming that shit right inside you. Channing Tatum's on stage doing hip rolls and you're making a sandwich. You know what I mean? You might want to switch to cucumber next time. The produce section is way closer to the exit than the meat section in the back. Your strategy's all off. Surprise skull fuck. Jesus Christ, lady. <laughs> Where did you even get this shirt? What company is making Skullfuck merchandise. Who's profiting off of this? Well, isn't that a lovely sweater you have on today, sir? I really don't even have any other commentary on this picture. I just, I He looks warm. <laughs> Why the fuck are you so angry, Ebenezer? This guy's got the most aggressive handwriting I've ever seen in my life. I don't know if he's trying to sign his name or if he's stabbing the machine. Who the fuck writes like this? Who's doing that? By the way, can we agree real quick that this guy looks like Ebenezer Scrooge, Jay Leno, and Joe Dirt got drunk, experimented a little, and then created this angry man? Can we agree on that? Is that accurate? West Virginia man allegedly squirted women with semen-filled syringes at Ohio Walmart. Semen-filled syringes. If I tried for an entire month, I couldn't come up with three words that could make me feel this gross. So I read the article, and apparently Stevie Seaman over here was in the bathroom jerking off into syringes, and then walking into the aisles, and like, secretly spraying them at women. But hold on, because it gets dumber. When he gets arrested, he tells the cops, no, that's not semen, that's egg whites. I was throwing egg whites on women. What? This guy tried to tell the cops, no, I had, I had a dozen eggs <laughs> and I was just separating the yolk and then I would take the egg whites and I would just, I would just throw them on women. I swear to God. And then the cops were like, no, it's semen. We know it's semen. And he was like, yeah, it's semen. <laughs> What's going, like we should just create an island in the middle of the ocean and just fucking put all of these people here. So they can just stay on the island and spray each other with jizz syringes all the time. Go ahead, have fun, do you? We'll be over here doing our thing. But there is no way that people like this should be allowed to just walk around in society. Well, this is the loneliest shit I've ever seen in my life. If you were wondering what the highest level of single and lonely is, it's this, holding hands with your own foot <laughs> while eating in public. On a side note though, really no excuse for being barefoot in Walmart. You might want to fix that and then we'll worry about someone else holding your hand, okay? Rose Sex Slave. This tattoo of course is going to be difficult to explain to the kids once they learn how to read. Especially if there's a breakup because then you are royally fucked. Your kids are going to be like, uh, ma? Who the fuck is Ro and why are you his sex slave? Dad's name's Jeff. What's going on? And then you're gonna have to explain to him like, oh man, it was Ozfest in the 80s and I was drunk, it was a dare and I regret it, don't do this. This isn't like one of those tattoos that you could just cover up with like a rose or something. It's across your lower back. Unless you tattooed a belt around your waist, you're kind of fucked, dude. Maybe don't get that next time. This is a shopping list. Paper towels, garbage bags, cat food, fabric softener, water, dinner. Here's where it starts to get interesting. Whipped cream or chocolate, condoms, Vaseline, mine and yours KY, big pads for bed, ask pharmacist. The fuck does that mean? Pick up Viagra prescription. What had started out as a shopping list for a normal home turned into a shopping list for a fuck dungeon. Now I have a lot of questions, but my main one is what was that big pad thing? 
What was that? And what was the ask the pharmacist? That almost made it seem like you were like, yeah, just ask her. She, she knows. She knows. Just go and say, hey, big pad. She'd be like, oh, this is for Tracy? Here you go. Like, what the hell was that about? I don't know what it was. I didn't like it. You also can't help but assume that everything on this list is going to be used in some sexual way. So I don't know what they're using the fabric softener and the cat food for, but I kind of want to know. I'm fucking curious. I almost need to know. Like, I need to, like, I'm gonna die if I don't. <sighs> anyway. Listen, I've never been inside a Walmart, but I heard they have great prices. But I had no idea that they were this good. Free kitchens. Free ki- What? Kitchens? You know what, let me back up for a second. Because these people could very well be the owners of a very successful construction company. So successful to the point where they could just give away free kitchens. But judging by the, I don't know, cage of fucking cats. I think it's safe to assume that they just can't spell. Do you know how easy it is to give away free shit and you can't even do that correctly? And why the hell do you have like five cats just crammed into this cage? This is exactly what they show on those commercials about abused animals. Fucking Sarah McLaughlin's gonna come flying out of nowhere looking in the camera like for just 10 cents a day you can save these poor cats from these fucking idiots. Jesus, we're not even in the store yet and this is going off the rails. Uh, no wonder we're not in the store. There's a fucking fire in aisle seven. How does this even happen? And how about the guy who took this picture? He's in a store, sees a giant fire, and his first reaction is, Twitter's gonna love this shit. And if that's your first reaction, then I'm assuming your second reaction is, just walking away and not telling anyone and just putting a filter over it, posting it to Instagram and laughing. Well, isn't this nice? Don't you hate it when you go to Walmart and you buy all this stuff and instead of ringing your stuff up, your cashier's on the phone, wrist deep in his fucking ass? His hand is deep, okay? He's not itching anything, like, external. He's inside. Like, your hand's really far in your pants. You're itching your colon, like the inside of your hat. Like, that's what you're doing. I don't think this is the time or place, you know, I don't know if he's doing like an emergency prostate check or something like that, but this just isn't the time to do this, buddy. Oh my, it better be Halloween or some shit. This woman is wearing a wedding dress and a veil and everything, like she just got off the altar. Who the hell gets married and on their way out of the church, they go, oh, oh. I forgot to get bologna. That's what I forgot. I for yeah, I, I, gotta, I gotta go to Walmart. I gotta get bologna. And if this isn't her wedding day, then what the hell are you wearing this for? Like, what is, what is it, laundry day? And the only thing you have is your wedding dress? Like, like, this will have to do. And you put on your wedding dress to go buy Crisco or some shit? Please stop drying your dicks. All right, that's when you know it's a problem. When uh, someone's gotta put a thing on the hand dryer so people stop sticking their dicks in there. Who's Give it, who's doing a nice cock wash in the middle of shopping? Who's walking around and then all of a sudden they're like, you know what, I just don't, I'm not confident in the, my, like, my hygiene. And they just go in, they start washing, and then they're dipping their dick in the hand washer. What is going on? Oh, look at this mess. I mean, really, did you even try to put that shirt on? Did you even try to put it on? It looks like she was drunk and then fell into the shower curtain and it just like fell on her and then she was like cool that's it okay let's go i'm going to walmart i gotta get some clothes there's just no effort here <laughs> d minus d minus on the effort oh what the hell is this what is this guy doing you're in walmart buying laundry detergent this isn't a calvin klein shoot and what the hell is sexy about laundry just buy your detergent and keep your dick in your shorts those are the rules just buy your detergent and then get the fuck out. Easy there, space cowboy. I don't even have any other jokes about this guy. I just, I just wanted to say that. He, I respect it almost. What in God's good name? What is that? Listen, I'll be honest. From far away, I thought this was an animal. It looks like a sloth giving itself a handshake, but like out here. Like it looks like a sloth just doing this. Doesn't it? What the flying fuck is this? It's a good thing the guy who took this picture was standing in the middle of a bathroom stall so that he could conveniently turn around and vomit into the toilet. How do you let that happen 
to your foot. This looks like the worst case of athlete's foot I've ever seen. This is the most athletic foot I've ever seen. All jokes aside, this, this foot looks like it belongs to a dead person. Am I crazy? It looks like, a, like it belongs to a dead guy. If you dug up a dead body and then checked out its feet, this is exactly what I think they would look like. But this foot looks like it died before Jesus. All right, before I throw up all over the place, that is all for this week's video. You know, it's crazy. Ever since I started making these videos, I no longer associate Walmart with like their low prices or like you could buy a gun right next to the ham or whatever. I just think of these insane people. Blowjob queen at T.P. Miller's bar. The what? Make way for the blowjob queen. We got royalty in aisle seven. What does one have to do to become a blowjob queen. Because hear me out, I know we're talking about blowjobs here, but at the end of the day, a queen is a queen. We're talking royalty. Did she have to like win a war or some sh or was she just like married into the royal blowjob family? More than likely she's the heir to the throne. You know, her mom was the queen. She died. Now it's her time. She's next up. Game of Thrones style. You know, she's got the dragons. No one's gonna stop her. Except instead of dragons, it's, you know, Penises. Let's start a motherfucking. I don't know what the rest of that shirt says, but I am fucking down for whatever it is. Her hair is the same color as my favorite flavor of Gatorade, so sign me the fuck up for whatever your shirt wants to do. Let's start a fire. I don't care, okay? Let's go beat up an old woman. I. I'm fucking down. I would follow this person into hell. Please tell me that's not what I think it is. What is this, a slip and slide? With shit, a, sh a shit and slide. Look how many times someone went through this pile of shit. This literally looks like someone took a dump on the floor and then rode through it 20 times with a razor scooter for fun. I don't know what kind of fucking fun that is, but that's what it looks like happened. I really have no idea what any of these marks are. Like, what is that? It looks like someone was stabbed and then there was a struggle and they were dragged halfway down the fucking aisle. Dude, it's really insane the amount of pictures I see of like shit on the ground at Walmart or pictures of people with just like just a just a gaggle of shit in their pants while they're still shopping like is everyone like oblivious what is happening and what are they just like force feeding laxatives into these people's mouths when they walk in welcome to Walmart here you go pop that in good see you later Tommy it's time to wake up for school how does this happen Looks like there was a drive-by shooting next to the chips. The whole display is fucked up. It literally looks like he ran full speed. Full speed? Full speed. It looks like he ran full speed into this fucking thing. By the way, I know I don't have any evidence to support this theory, but I'm pretty sure this guy shit himself just for, just for the hell of it. Just because there's a ton of shit in this store. That guy probably did. Best tattoo ever. So for those of you who can't make out what this is, what is that? Is it a Chinese symbol? No. Okay, what it is, is a demon getting its ass eaten by an angel. Okay? I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say she's, she hasn't been to church in a while. Mainly because her and the big guy upstairs aren't on speaking terms, clearly. However, if you have a tattoo like this, you are fucking. She's fucking. If you ain't sucking, we ain't fucking. Speaking of fucking. You know, it's actually nice of her to lay out the ground rules like that. A lot of people don't do that. You know, it's like the fifth date and all of a sudden you got all these rules. Like what? Couldn't tell me this in the beginning? With this one, you know, right away. If you ain't sucking, you can forget about it, buddy. I like to imagine that this woman had to deal with so many people who weren't sucking, you know? To the point where she's like, I gotta get a shirt so people know what the deal is because I can't keep making the same mistake of dating all these people who aren't sucking. Oh, you lying sack of shit. Take a seat, Barbara. We caught you red-handed. Are you really going to get one of those old people go-karts to drive around the store in even though you're basically like a fucking trapeze artist? Dude, I wouldn't even get on that thing to try and reach the top shelf. It's fucking dangerous. This lady has one slippery pile of shit from that scooter sliding out from underneath her and her cracking her skull. But I shouldn't judge her, all right? Maybe there was just a really good sale. You know, tomato sauce was like 70% off and she's like, I gotta stock up on this. So she's like, fuck the injury, my hip's all shitty, but I'm gonna step on this scooter, fight the pain so I can get those last three fucking jars of ragu. And what the hell do we have here? Who the hell is Morticia Adams over here trying to seduce with this picture? Jesus Christ, we got shit 
in the aisles, people sleeping on the ground, and urinal selfies. What's going on, Walmart? This place is hell. I'm convinced it's hell. It's actual, this is where, you, you were shitty your whole life, and then you die, and instead of going to heaven, they're like, go to Walmart. And then you just hang out with a bunch of people who are shitting themselves, shitting on the ground, just drinking out of urinals. She's basically drinking out of the thing. If you're gonna get that close to a urinal, you're taking a sip, okay? Jesus, I, I, may, I need to shower. I need to take a shower right now. Well, 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 we meet again, Walmart. I feel like I don't gotta do intros for the series anymore, okay? We know it's about to happen. We know it's about to get weird. Uh, what's with the sword, bud? Why do you have a sword at Wal- Like, what's gonna happen? Is a sword fight gonna break out in aisle six? Why do you have a sword? Are you using it for protection? Is a sword even considered like an efficient form of protection anymore? I feel like if I was walking home alone and some dude tried to rob me with a sword, I'd like laugh in his face. Like, picture this, okay? I'm walking home alone, all of a sudden I hear behind me, give me all your fucking money. I turn around, there's a dude with a sword, just like this. I'm not gonna be like, oh my god, here, take all my stuff. I'd be like, get the fuck out of here, Zelda, go home. Maybe if you're like a knight, maybe then you could use a sword and it'd be a valid form of protection, but who's a knight? Nobody's a knight. People get knighted, like Elton John was knighted. But do you think Elton John can fucking protect himself with a sword? Fucking no shot! Oh, get yourself together! I will never understand how people are blowing shit out of their ass at such high velocities. I just, I will never understand it. How is this possible? And I'm not like a blood splatter analyst or whatever, but judging by like the angle and just the placement of the splatter of shit, this person had to have been bent over like doggy style Shitting that way, like, who shits doggy style? Not even dogs shit that way. Even they know. Why don't you just take a seat? Okay, you've had a rough day, you got a dump, just take a seat. All right, sit down. California couple attempt to sell baby at Walmart store for $25. Well, I didn't know Walmart's prices were this good. I'll be honest with you, when I first saw this, it made me feel a little weird because at no point during my initial reaction to this picture, did I go, oh my god, how dare they sell a baby? You cannot put a price on a human life. I was more concerned with the fact that they set the price at $25. I was like, what are these? What, what? Like, I'm not in the baby market or anything, but I'm pretty sure you can get at least $1,000 for a brand new, fresh out the box, never worn baby. Listen, if you're gonna sell a baby, do it right. Put it on the black market, for like 10 grand, get the 10 grand or whatever. Don't put this fucking baby up for $25 like this is a fucking flea market. Help me help you, okay? $25, that's helping nobody, okay? The funniest part about this is that I like to imagine that he started higher, but no one would bite, and he thought that it was, it was because of the price. Like he's like, God, I can't sell this baby for 200 bucks, it's, the price is too high. Like, I gotta bring the price down. He thought it was the price. At no point did he think, it's just a fucking baby that you, you're trying to sell. He was like, no, it's the price. You know what, the price is too high, that's the thing. I knew 200 was too much. We gotta come down, we'll go to 25. That'll do it. <laughs> oh, look at this, George Carlin's back from the dead. What the fuck am I even looking at right now? I don't even know what this is. Is this like, is it flowers? I feel like I, I, there's a bracelet and like gum in there. Also, like I don't understand what this is. You know what this looks like? You know when someone dies and then the friends and family go back to the spot where they died and they leave flowers and candles to pay their respects? This is kind of what this looks like. Like this dude must have given someone a piggyback ride and killed them. Like, you know what I mean? Things that make my dick hard. Here we go. Boobs. Money. Lesbians. Drugs. Pussy. Midget. Poker. Poker. <laughs> I feel like whoever made this shirt didn't really think that one through. They were just in a conference room and just like, really hype and like, alright, just throw out things that guys like. Alright, money, pussy, uh, drugs, midgets, alright, uh, poker. <laughs> like, poker's big, giving you boners, like, I've never been playing cards and been like, dude, I'm fucking fully erect right now, this is crazy. I can just imagine this guy at a blackjack table like, ugh. Oh. Hit me. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna split him. 
I'm gonna split them. This guy's shirt says Midwest Fuckfest. I can't really make out the rest of the words on the shirt, but I'm pretty sure it's like a, a tour. Which I don't know what it's about, but it sounds like a tour where these hicks just go from town to town like, Yeah, everybody's getting fucked! And then it's just orgies, you know? Men, women, animals, whatever. But I'll be honest with you, I got really curious about what this was. And I looked it up, and it's a tour, but for like music, but I got lucky and found like a list of bands that were on this tour in 2016. Here's some of the names. Dying Fetus, Moistened Disciples, Call the Paramedics, Wet the Steel, <laughs> fuck is that one? Sexual Atrocities, Fester Fuck, and Human Infection, okay? This is what you're gonna get if you attend the Midwest Fuckfest. And I'm pretty sure everything I just described is happening also, just, you know, not on stage. They play the music and they fuck each other and the animals in the crowd. Listen, so it's part 11, okay? We've been through a lot in the first 10 Walmart videos. We've had callous people shitting themselves, human foxes, fires, fucking uh, lubed up bald guys sitting in shopping carts and shit, but we have never ever had something this insane. A fucking Walmart wedding. You got married in, huh? Walmart? Where are you going on your honeymoon? Home Depot? You couldn't find a better place to get married? You know, just like a place where there's not people walking around you trying to buy a leaf blower? Is this one like good? Or like, how strong is the wind? What is going on here? This guy looks like Avril Lavigne, Willie Nelson, and the Terminator had a three-way triangle fuck. He also looks like he listened to like a lot of Slipknot back in the day. And maybe he was in a band and he definitely has like a tattoo on his back of some weird shit like a an eagle shitting into a snake's mouth or something like that. They're great! Well, there it goes. Never eating Frosted Flakes again. What is that tattoo? Is that a dick? Or like, is it a wrench? It honestly looks like a half dick, half wrench with fidget spinner balls. I don't know what that is. And I don't know what these other tattoos are either, because one of them looks like a compass, and then the other one's like, a fire? Like, what the fuck is this? What does- what do these tattoos mean? This looks like the answer to that question where you're like, if you were on a desert island, what three things would you bring? It's like, alright, bring a compass, a fire, and a dick wrench. Uh, hey man, don't wear that shirt. Okay? Alright. Like, what? what is this? What? What is this? You know what, don't answer that because I know what this is. We've all experienced this person in like high school, there's that one kid in the back of the class that doesn't really talk, so you go up to him and be like, hey man, what's up, what's your name? And then he starts making cat noises at you and you're like, what the fuck is going on? Like, that's what this is. But like, why are you painting your face to go to Walmart? This isn't a carnival, okay? People are buying food and guns and fucking, they got everything at that store, man. Good prices too. But this isn't a birthday party, so don't Paint your face? This one person literally looks like the moon emoji, and this other kid's got a fucking seatbelt on his neck. Wh why? If anyone can explain, please just do it because it's killing me. Heartbreaking, Loney needs real love, no games. Alright, I have no idea what happened here, but I'm assuming that he ran out of data. And now he's wearing his Tinder profile because he can't use his phone. And like, look, I don't want to make fun of this guy because this is like a, clearly just a Hail Mary attempt at trying to find love, but someone's got to tell this guy he's not going to find it in fucking Walmart. Unless he likes people with painted faces and seatbelts around their neck. But if you don't, you're in the wrong spot. What season is Sons of Anarchy on? Jesus, did someone shit on this guy's face? Is that a mustache? Or what is it? Did someone staple a shit to this guy's face? Eat pussy, chug whiskey, hail Satan. Oh yeah! God, this guy must have all the sex. Eat pussy, chugging whiskey, and hailing old Satan. Woo! This guy probably has sex with his mother in a monster truck while blasting Garth Brooks. Uh, sir, can you stop plunging your child in the aisle, please? 
Thank you. I don't know how this dude convinced this kid like to lay down. Hey, I'm gonna plunge you. Lay down. If my dad was like, son, lay down on the floor. I'm gonna plunge your back. I'd be like, dad, literally go fuck yourself. I'm not doing that. This whole situation is weird to begin with because like, what is he doing? Is he like testing it out to see if it's worth it? It's like $8, like it's a plunger. A plunger is not one of those items that you have to like test. Like when I go to buy a plunger, I'm taking the plunger's word for it. It's a plunger, not a pair of jeans. I don't need to try it on. I will say though, that's a strong fucking plunger. Lifted the kid right off the floor? Are you kidding me? It's like the strongest suction ever. I would actually, I wouldn't even want that plunger. I'd be too afraid that I would be plunging, trying to get some like toilet paper out of the pipes. Suck up an alligator or some shit. All right, well that's all for this week. Oh my god! What are that? What is that? How can that be a foot? And why does it have rings? I'm gonna throw up. This foot, I think, is the most fucked up part of the whole earth, every square foot is, a, is, is less fucked up than this foot. Someone look at the third toe. It looks like it's gonna pop. At the risk of throwing up, I am going to end this video.